Hey guys, welcome to today. We're gonna make some roasted chicken. This recipe is really easy, it's delicious, and also, let's get to it. I got the chicken already cooking. I'm gonna put all the steps on the next uh, few slides. So let's get into it. Go ahead and get some oil and start getting some garlic and some rosemary infused into it. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of some lemon pepper powder. And also, we're gonna add some garlic salt into it. Also gonna have a tablespoon and a half of some sea salt ready for some seasoning. Line your pan with some foil and get ready to start marinating your chicken. Pull apart the skin that's next to the chicken and make some pockets so you can actually add some of the oil and seasoning in between there so you can get it in every single crevice of this chicken so every bite will be seasoned and delicious. You're gonna grab a colander and use the oil mix of rosemary and garlic, roasted garlic, to season and pretty much oil the whole inside and outside of the chicken. Make sure you massage every single crevice with this infused oil mixture. Make sure you lather up every single part inside and out of this chicken so that every bite is flavorful and you get a crispy skin that is superior to anything that you've put in your mouth. At this point, make sure you fold the wings inside so they don't burn. The tips will always tend to burn first. So go ahead and fold them in so they don't burn on you. After you have lathered up the whole chicken, go ahead and use this infused lemon pepper and garlic seasoning and spread it all around the chicken outside all the crevices every single pocket that you have and you see that is missing any flavor Go ahead and grab your sea salt and start sprinkling this thing all over the chicken. As a personal thing that I do, I like to sprinkle some of the sea salt on the bottom of the pan before I place the chicken on top of. Make sure your wings stay tucked in and every single part of it is perfectly placed inside the pan.
If you don't have any cooking thread, grab yourself a nice piece of foil. You're gonna make it into a long, pretty much thread of your own, and you're gonna wrap the drumsticks together. Grab some foil and go ahead and cover the whole chicken and before we place it in the oven. We're gonna be placing this on the second to last bottom rack at 365 degrees for at least an hour and 25 minutes. This right here is the sauce to be pouring after we have cooked the chicken, after we have taken the corn off. You just kind of do it, do it, do it. It's gonna add more flavor, a lot more flavor um, levels to this chicken recipe. And I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of the best recipes that you have. And you can show it to your friends, you can show it to your family. You can even show it to your wife if you don't know how to cook. You can impress her. So, this right here is the liquid, and I will post every single thing that I put in here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a lot more recipes, a lot more events. A lot more things to do, gym, and advice about life, Christ, and everything else that involves a good life. So, this liquid is going to stay right here until we start basting our chicken. You're going to grab your quarter cup measuring device, and you're going to fill every single component that I'm going to show you only halfway. So, you're going to use half a quarter cup. Go ahead and grab yourself the beer of your choice and you're going to use half a beer into that same concoction. You're going to heat it up into a slow simmer. Do not boil this and then you're going to strain it and add it to the chicken, kind of like a glaze. All right guys, check this out. This, tur this turkey. This chicken has been in for about almost an hour or so and literally all, all we're going to do is we're going to tilt the, tur the, tur the chicken up. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the sauce inside of the cavity and make sure it stays in there, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold this and create a little ledge so the turkey or the chicken can stay up there and the juices will be maintained in there while they brew. The rest of it, we're gonna pour all around it Cover it. A little bit more. And then we're going to cover it again, pop it back in. Make sure it's 
sure it's nice and sealed. I just uncover the chicken and pour the rest of the sauce in there. And we're just gonna put it back in there and let that puppy roast for another 30 to 35 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Okay, it's time to pull this baby out. And that is how the chicken should look. And that will take the winner for a chicken roasted meal for your family. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share it with your family members, friends, and anyone that loves some roasted whole chicken. Peace out.